Ahoy! Today's video will show you how to take care of those nasty character and account binding items. Character binding means it cannot be moved to any other character in any way, including the other ones on your account. Account binding means you can store it in your warehouse and use it on your other characters, but either way they cannot be traded, dropped, mailed or anything of the sort. First of all, let's see armor and weapons. There are a couple of ways to remove the character binding attribute. They are called unbinding stones. And two types of them exist. Arcane golems and minestas or whatever. The difference is arcane stone, as its name suggests, comes from the map arcane trace originally from the boss in the middle of the map, but they also added it to the drop list of abandoned city. Arcane stone can be used on items that are at least plus 10, but every grade after 10 increases the success rate, so you shouldn't really try it under 15. It is, however, kept at plus 15, so if you upgrade it any further, the success rate remains the same, which is 70%. So let's face it, I wouldn't bet my life on 70%, but the good news is, if it fails, the only thing that happens is your item drops one grade. So if it was plus 16, it becomes plus 15 again. But a word of warning here, divine and extreme upgrades are only possible from plus 15 and above, so if your item is exactly plus 15 and you fail an unbinding try, you lose both of those. Therefore, you should always make it at least plus 16 before trying. Arcane stones are quite expensive, as the boss is quite rare and the abandoned city is a really hard and boring dungeon. So the alternative solution is Minesta's stone. These are created by requesting them, or crafting them if you like, in port locks, and the material needed is dropped by the legendary chest of almost every dungeon. These stones also have no restriction on the item's upgrade level, but still, their success rate is increased by every plus, and just as before, it is capped at plus 15. That's 90% though, which sounds somewhat better than 70. But the bad news is, if this one fails, your item is destroyed gone, vanished, without a trace, and there's absolutely no way to get it back unless you have a time machine. But if you had that, I bet you would be busy winning the lottery over and over again instead of watching this video. Now let's change the subject to account binding stuff, still talking about armor and weapons, but the procedure is the same for bikes as well. If you use a slot extender on your item, it becomes account binding, but if the item is still character binding, you won't see that until you unbind it. The procedure of getting rid of the account binding attribute requires sealing and unsealing stones. Those are available at the cash shop. Who would have guessed it? You've got different types for armor, weapons and bikes, and if them being cash shop items wasn't enough bad news already, here's the other fly in the ointment. Sealing an account binding item makes it possible to trade it or move it to the inventory of anyone else, but that item will be useless until you unseal it. It cannot be equipped until an unsealing stone is applied, and that makes it account binding again. The only good news is, as far as I know, things like filling slots and applying extreme seals still work on sealed items, so if you want to buy service for one of those, you can just seal your item, get it done and unseal it again. So long story short, character binding armor and weapons require unbinding stones, account binding armor, weapons and bikes require sealing and unsealing stones. So what about other stuff? Well, special bracelets, amulets and earrings also come character binding by default, and obviously where else would you find unbinding stones for them than in the cash shop? If you're looking to trade costumes, check out my video about costumes in general, there's a link in the video description. As for pets, I'm planning to make a guide soon and will also add the link here when it's done. For any other item, if all else fails you can use account transfer, just place the item in the inventory of a new character, then transfer the entire character to the new owner's account. There's yet another link in the video description for a guide. So once again I hope you found this helpful and if you've got any questions related to this the comments are available. Ahoy!